And then you get there, and actually, nobody wants you at all. Didn't that feel? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That would nicely. Or you don't agree to dance in the middle of the field. No, we don't. Well, you often arrive and find that that's what they want you to dance. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. You have to organise it before you get there. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. So, what, what do you want? Where do you want it to do? And things like this. And then tell them what the you're going to do. Yeah. 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 Take some money and run. <laughs> From all those things, though, I mean, more starts into like candy floss. It's something you have. Yeah. These events. It makes oh, the, you know, the whole yeah. sum of the whole thing. Really. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want it for the Morris dancing, they want it for that's what you have. Yeah. Well, it's not any that's different from going to Baker. Sure, that's a good thing. Where people will come out their door, you know, watch the nutters go by, that's it for another year, they'll turn their backs and that's. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. there, you know. It's, yeah. They'll miss they, they won't follow it all around, you know. Uh, idiots like me and my brother will follow them around all day. Well, you're <laughs> <laughs> you said it, kid. I've worn the whole lot. Well, yeah. We but get the applause like... in our local oh, carnival good. procession because we're the only thing that goes around a carnival that does anything. Yes. All the yes. others sit there and look pretty. Our lot is pretty and dances. Yeah. You know, I want to seem to dance all the time. Is that fleet carnival? Fleet, yeah. yeah. It doesn't even have to be pretty to some to try to. In no way could we even be described as pretty. But we got lots of applause again because we oh. made something. But part of it is also if, if you've got some sort of local identity. I mean, you know, because the whole thing about New Westbrook, we come from within the M25. That's a very big area to come within. But for a lot of other teams like Fleet, you've actually got a local area to be identified with. And so if your local fate organiser brings you up, you know, you are actually identified with the local area. And you are theirs. You, you know, they have some sense yeah. of ownership. You know, who I'm sure owns New Westbrook? You know, who are the M25? It's, you know, we belong to them. Islington Council just about. Yeah. I'm sure we get some of our local mm. fates because, in fact, we're the only one of the few entertainment things in the area. Yeah. Mm. You know, and they rather really employ somebody locally than a distant. But Steve was mentioning about sides going abroad. Um, Pump House, Morris, from Watford. Yeah. Um, the, when our friends belonged to it, the council there was, was very left wing. And they were twinned with every other left wing country going. And they're very active. And so, you know, the left wing country would say we're having a, a whatever, you know, send someone cultural over. Oh, Pump House Morris can go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Abram have been like that. The reason Ab Abram only dance once a year, except mm. what? Only dance once a year in England, but if someone offers them cheap tickets to a festival oh. in France, they'll go. But as one of the people said, um, one of the sort of uh, council officials said, the thing is that only England can send us Morris dancers. We can get marching bands. Yeah from everywhere, because we used to send the, the Wigan Fire Brigade Band or something, so we can get marching bands from all over Europe. You are the only people who can send Morris dancers, and we like having Morris dancers. Oh. We, we weren't exotic enough for the main show. <laughs> you know, that's actually the word they use. <laughs> well, I've never forgotten representing Newbury with Kenneth Morris, Den Avignon. <laughs> things that went wrong on that particular trip I wasn't there, but I heard of well, it. Well, there was a team of us, there was a complete team as we were going to go on to this main display on the football pitch before the firework display, right? But a girlfriend of one of the men, I think the squire, spiked his drinks for spirit. And he was violently ill as we actually moved towards the football pitch. And as we danced on, somebody slipped and strained his leg. <laughs> so where we, we were actually six and a musician when we set out, <laughs> we actually got onto the middle of four with four, <laughs> and we grabbed members of the local folk group in Pomosal, and we actually did such ancient English dances as the Bolita <laughs> and Gay Gordons. <laughs> Which went down perfectly well with the locals. <laughs> the only problem Abram have had is that they will insist on feeling as before they want us to dance. Uh -huh. And if it's French hospitality before you try to dance is not equal to sure. yeah. But I mean, once you travel abroad, though, you're something special anyway, as far as the locals are concerned. You know, and they go to any amount of trouble to accommodate. We do the same thing, I think. I, was I, do. Say, yeah. I do when we have American sides come yeah, over or anybody right. else, you know. Um, it's just a sheer pleasure to make life fun for them, you know, take them everywhere, do everything for them, you know, and have a good exchange. 
But that can be a problem with uh, a small Morris side going over to a, a village type do in say, say France or some mm -hmm. other European places, is that because it's made up of whole families and whole community, you can have to, uh, an awful lot of people coming back again. You know, mm. you're going to coach load of 60, yeah. 70 people where you know, your small mm. worry side is sort of overwhelmed. But that's what twinning was all about, mm. you know, to establish these links. So the fact there was a good exchange of people, people going both ways. Mm. Yeah. Yes, but we've had that problem when, um, when I was at King John's, we were twinned with a group in the half. And when they came back, it took the combined resources of both teams in Southampton. Yeah really pushing the boat out. Well, maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe yeah. it really stretched them, but it I'm never sure showed. Sure it does, yeah. it never but it's, showed. it's like the first time Windsor went to Belgium, the, the town we were twinned with. They were a village dance side, and then most people lived in the village. And then they came back to Windsor, you know, you got one, someone living in Milton Keynes. And someone living, <laughs> they couldn't believe it. They had like an hour and a half ride to someone's house. Because they thought Windsor would be a local village side like they were. They just couldn't yeah. believe it. Yes, we, I had to remember when we went over to Treacley to went over to France last year, to remember to keep, keep saying that we were a big music club from Ilminster, which isn't true, we're from Yeovil, but Yeovil twinning is sort of fairly moribund, and we've we been working for a long time to go away with Ilminster. It's yeah, quite yeah. difficult remembering that where, where we came from. And for some reason, the, the Belgian side seemed to think Maidenhead and Windsor, the Maidenhead part, was more important than the Windsor side. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, Windsor, not Maidenhead and Windsor Morris, it's Windsor Morris. <laughs> yeah. 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 They kept talking about lovely Morris side, Maidenhead side, Windsor side. Yeah. Windsor side. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we can't even get the local councillor for who includes Abram in his patch to come and watch the garden stream so on our day. Oh. But there again, no one in the team lives in Abram either, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why live in Yeovil and I dance with them? Yes. Uh, it's nice it's, it's that a two-edged thing, the, the sort of foreign team approach. Um, I mean, there, there, are, there are great advantages in the fact that foreign councils tend to look at their local dance teams, if they've got a dance team, as you know, a cultural artefact um, and something that should be preserved as such um, and brought out on, on high days and holidays. And I, that's very nice in some ways. In some ways it seems to me very dead now because one of the things, I've been on several trips abroad dancing, and when you go, one of the things that amazes them is you want to go and dance in the street. You know, yeah. What do you want to do that for? You know, there's, a, there's a perfectly good theatre stage over there, yes. and, and I, I sort of want the, the, the prestige and the support, but I don't want to be restricted to, to this slot. Mm. Yeah, I want to be able to do what actually, I want to yeah. do. They had their own grasses idea. Yeah. Street one, one really nice thing about the Angers yeah. Festival is the second time we went back, they obviously got us sus. They didn't put us in the theatre. They sent us to an old people's home, just like going on its own. Really. <laughs> but that was great. That's why we got fed, fed far too much before we danced. And then they got us dancing in the street. Yeah. And apparently they have a there's a big mayoral reception and um, so only one or two members of each team going. But the introduction for, for Avram was, oh yes, the Morris dancers, yes. Now they they really we really like having them, they're really nice because they dance in the street and then they go to a bar. And then they come out and do some more dancing and they go to another bar. <laughs> And then they come out and they do some more. And if you want to know anything about any bar in Angers, talk to the Morris dancers. <laughs> <laughs> We've been there for, you know, it was our second weekend. They, they'd actually worked out what we were like, which was nice. Yeah, but that's what I think Tubby's Morris did in Letterkenny. They <coughs> didn't actually just perform on the stage in the square. They actually went around the Capes and States and so on. They're actually to meet people and get involved. We all went to mass on Sunday and danced outside the cathedral and so on, where the people were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, one of the good things about dancing abroad is that people there don't know exactly what to expect, and so they seem to be very happy with what they get. Yeah. Hopefully, it's because we perform well, but it might be because they haven't a clue. What <laughs> it's great to use custom. Well, how do you notice know all the foreign signs that come here are perfect? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we danced at uh, the Rosa Trulli Festival, which is not, not a folk festival at all. I mean, it's a beauty contest, basically. And um, somehow we got there because we do some on one of our teams, Irish, who do some on the other festival. We got involved in the enormous procession, which was quite devastating for us because uh, an Irish park band behind us with about 130 decibels and another one in front with another 140 decibels. Um, so I was playing with it as loud as I possibly could. And they still couldn't hear in front. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. Anyway, every time we did a double step and a jump, normally, you know, we go around the actual carnival procession and it's there. So you do that, and the whole audience applauded, so you're deafened yet again. It's not just the <laughs> 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 oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely astounding. Um, Steve and Sword, who'd never danced a procession ever before, and were dancing to a guitar and a whistle, <laughs> had even more fun with the audience, and they lost lots of knuckles en route. But that's another story. Um, we went to Austria. Uh, well, I was in a different team. We, different week. Um, and people thought this is wonderful. You, know, you can do William Payne and stuff like that. They think it's very subtly humorous. Um, it was wonderful. But also incredibly hospitable. Yeah, isn't that all part of the fact that Morris is one of the few things that's able to rise to any occasion it finds itself? Yes, I think, I think that, that was one thing. Yeah, th 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 there, was, there was an occasion in Ireland where they said, the, the um, the, 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 the Irish police force who do a sort of formation motorcycle thing, like things for the ball tournament, have not arrived. Can you just go there and entertain the audience? <laughs> because then, oh, there's uh, eight, eight, nine people, you can just organise them, send them off, mm -hmm. and, and we did. Um, which kind of satisfied them, and the audience appreciated it. Although the karaoke operator didn't give us any sympathy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, <coughs> when we were dancing at one end of the town, and just down the road was the, the karaoke man. Uh, he played very loudly. Didn't 
Kornos. But, but isn't it a bit worrying that we are all given these tales of how wonderfully we are received abroad, and we're not giving tales of how wonderfully we're received here? Profit in his own yes. country, you see. That's the old story. I recommend dancing on you. Day, yes. well, yes, we dance on New Year's Day, yes, it does work. There are, there are happy, rare occasions when it does happen. Things like mm -hmm. WIs are often unexpected uh, events of great joy and happiness mm -hmm. to us all. WIs are great. Yeah. For, some years, yeah. Yeah. for some years, but they're really good because there are cat audits who invited you there. Yeah. And um, used to be you may discover that you are considered a big toy boys, I don't know, that's a possibility. Yeah. Um, of people's clubs as well. Yeah. well not necessarily them. Oh, we've had were, you, were you there when the, um, we started? We, we sometimes do a dance where we begin a song, a, a, da a dance with a song. Mm -hmm. And one of the old people there, lady, was not very happy with us yeah. and said, Why don't you shut up? <laughs> and they just carried walking down the ground. But this business of being away from the own territory, I mean, over the years I've been out with the Chadwick Morris and the ancient one from Oxford, you know, um, and they two or three times a year go to some strange part of the country for them. And I can't think of anyone that I belong which wasn't very successful. You, know, you, you were visitors, you were strangers. Maybe you tried not to Well, the ancient man has a great idea, really, that what do you do in the middle of the morning and in the afternoon? Well, the only place you can find audience is the local school. So they go and actually do a show for the school. All the kids come and line up, the teachers chat to you, anything like this. And they all when I was involved in, were all rather successful. That's what we do on May Day. Well, I think four schools just because we're strange, you see. It's great. The problem really is in your own territory, you know, profit in your own country sort of business. Yeah, the Thrales Rapper always find they get the most best reception in the seediest parts where people don't think that anybody is, invite, is likely to come and entertain them or do anything for them. The sort of grottiest pubs we can find are always the best ones for dancing in because we always get the best reception. The lushest ones are the worst, aren't they? Everyone turns their nose up and turns their back, basically. Well, let me say my worst experience ever was going out to the Crook and Mummers on an annual pre Christmas tour, which they'd been doing at that stage for some 60 odd years. And we went down to the Working Man's Club, and I don't think there was a single place where anybody watched it at all. Everybody's seen it so many years. We saw a lovely example of that. Um, Barry Paysakers have been going about 21 years, was it, when we were out there? And um, we went, they, they do Palm Sunday, they do the particular tour that they've always done. And they think it's really nice because there are now parents bringing their kids to watch the Paysakers who they remember being brought when they were kids. And they, they, you know, it's a really lovely atmosphere. And they finish yeah. up in two pubs opposite each other. And in the first one, I thought, well, I've seen the play about five or six times now. I'll, I'll go and stand at the back and watch the audience, see how they're reacting. And there's this, this chap, fucking Morris. They say there's always bloody coming around here. It's 15 minutes at the most a year. And he's livid that they are always coming to disturb his pub. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't win. The trouble is when they actually, it's true, you know, they always come. <laughs> yeah. But this business of you know, getting used to something, you know, I mean, I've all sort of the rule of thumb, it takes eight to ten years for the local community to even notice you exist. You know, um, and I'm always amused on Morris' sides that go somewhere and say, oh, I'm we won't go there again. You know, as you actually got to persevere for a decade before people actually know you're there and form judgment. It depends. I suppose I'd only be dancing around in yeah. under the stone on the sunset on the longest day of the year about four times when there are people with reports in the, in the local paper, they always do it. And they'd only been doing it about four years running. And it already had become established. Mm. Well, Crip Oswald used to reckon that if you saw anything in the newspaper that said the ancient and traditional custom, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't more than 10 years old. Yes. <laughs> well, things have changed. I mean, we used to dance in Newbury on Bank Holiday Monday, the late Bank Holiday Monday. Mm. And Newbury was, none of the shops were open, and there used to be about two or three hundred people, I understand, out there. Now the shops are open, it's a normal Monday, it's a normal day, it's, it's lost just another weekend day, it's, yeah. it's sort of lost, mm. it's sort of magic of the <coughs> mm. We've actually found, I mean, I've muttered earlier on dance out on New Year's Day because I get a good reaction because people are amazed that anyone can do 
do anything mm. at all by years eight. We we are we've done the same <laughs> we've done the same tour two years running, same three spots. The second spot, mm. on the first pub, is they obviously do like us and they are you know, they are looking forward to it. Mm. You know, to the extent that there were there's one of these pubs where there's photographs of things that happened during the year up and I don't know whether he puts it up especially when he knows we're coming, but there is a photograph of us up. Um, and it was there when we danced with the other team in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't always take that long, but that's something special, aren't you? Yeah. But it's, well, it's, it's, sorry. No. So I was going to say, it's part of them again having some ownership of the process. And you know, you, you, you going there is part of their ritual. Mm. You know, maybe your ritual, but it's part of their ritual that you go there. And they actually mm. sort of own it, but it's something they don't actually have to have anything to do with. It happens, they expect it, they enjoy it, and then they ignore you for another year. Yeah, yes, we're there for 45 but minutes or something. The problem of doing something regularly is, in fact, you've got to do it on a day that people can work out for themselves. Mm. I mean, for many years, Farnborough Morris did a Friday night tour the day before the local major fate. And everybody knew that once the fate was advertised, the farmer was be on Friday evening. And we didn't advertise at all after two or three years because it was all big crowds at the pubs. You know, people could work out when to find us, so it wasn't a problem. We find that I think that postering, in fact, is almost a waste of time nowadays. You know, if you're going somewhere for the first time or you haven't been there for several years, you know, nobody pays any attention to it. No. They probably don't even notice people it. People drive past posters. Read it, yeah, yeah. I, I regard them as a way to confirm the booking with the bar staff so that the bar staff know about it. It's embarrassing to walk into a pub and land on We should tell you coming here before this morning. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> we have that because the landlord knows the landlord has changed. But if you do something enough times, you can get into the local consciousness. Um, when Marguerite was working in the local fish and chip shop some years ago, um, she was always asking older people as they come in, about, you know, do they remember the mamas, do they remember the Morris dance, something like this, you know. And she found that they all remembered the Morris dance. It used to come again years ago, but actually it was the father of Morris. You know, it, it had a regular annual circuit, is it there? So people got used to seeing them after 20 or 30 years. You know, and therefore they'd always come. Mm. So when you ask somebody, do you remember? Say, yes, I remember when I was a child. Yeah. They're lying, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but they had the, the feeling of someone who been all the time. And that's one of the problems, I think, with science today, is not recognising how long it takes mm. to actually be a part of the community. As distinct from being an imposition or just something that turns up for the fake. The other thing is, you see Morris too often on television. It's sort of. Do you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's about once a month. There's usually a Morris side on some oh, program yeah. or other. Yeah. I obviously watch the wrong programs. There's an awful lot of Morris appearing. I haven't seen him since the Generation Game. I've seen some since then. Is that part of our dormitory? Yes. Yeah, a bit about Morris. But isn't, I think the thing about telling how long it takes to get established because in Cambridge we've got Bedford Morris long established and they, their summer tour, or well, summer tours, every Wednesday, they I mean, the same every every year. Yeah. So they go around a variety of villages and they also get a big audience and they have a very active postering campaign. But whereas we, you know, if we actually get a couple of posts in the pub, we think we're doing quite well, but then we have posts on the trees, telephone poles, the post office shops and whatever. But they only go to the same places every year, virtually at the same time of year. Well, I mean, we have one tour that's that's more or less fixed in late July at Tollington. Yeah. And the other pub tours we do are uh, maybe sort of on a kind of random basis. Well, and, um, in the 60s with Abingdon, they had a, yeah. a North Barks tour, which you know, sort of wanted to along the villages for one year. That's the only time of year they came to this part of the world. But in fact, there was always a number of people turned out every pub we actually seen them before. You know, nice to see you again, type thing, you know, you were very welcome and so on. You know, um, as I certainly feel well, like Fleet turning up to the carnival, who've done it so many years now, that people expect to see us in the carnival. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and becoming part of the scene has got to be one of the ways to be acceptable. Mm -hmm. yeah. US Brits always do it yeah, on May the 1st, but I think doing it on May the 1st is a bit of a liability because mm -hmm. unless it's a Saturday, there's it's never anybody really around. Well, it's only the bar staff who recognise us. It's well, we well, dance well, at Freak well, Pond yeah. as the sun rises on May Day. And there never will be any of the public there. <laughs> we, 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 not, we not stand till park sunrise every, every May day. Now. And we get an audience that varies from about 20 oh. idiots, because we think we're stupid enough. Yeah. Uh, and if it's the, if the weekend of our call in on the 120. And I've been, I've been surprised recently, come, well, I, I go around the pubs in Amtel, not just with Morris, mm. but to do camera new and people say, oh, yes, yes, I recognise you because you're, you know, you're the bomb man in there with a beard. Well, there's Boris and Alice Archer, yes, oh yes, we'll always come to see you, may the yeah. first, always look yeah. forward to it. Lots of people also look forward to it because they don't actually watch us up in the park, but they go straight to the pub that we go to because mm -hmm. they, you know, they're really knowing what they drink at breakfast. Mm -hmm. But it has become... The point we're trying to make is it's like May morning at Oxford. Everybody knows on May morning, you know, there's something going on. They know the time and the place. Mm. So honestly, you don't have to be told, you don't have to find out, you yes. know it's going to happen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Terry Pratchett has a wonderful thing with his books about that, there's the Tower of Art. And um, the, the choir climb this 800 foot tower and sing a carol which lasts for precisely five minutes. And then the audience on the ground applaud. But because it's 800 feet high, they can't actually hear it. But they know that five minutes after they see the sun, they have to clap. On separate occasions, the choir haven't made it. But the audience <laughs> have still turned up five minutes after the people have applauded. <laughs> It's breakfast tomorrow. Oh, do we have to wait even longer? Ah, oh, do we have to wait even longer? Take the short ones if you can, please. Minimise the season. I was wondering where I'm going to go.
in here. I'm not sure any of us can actually understand what we look at. Now, the first thing about this dance, which is the, uh, the cutting off the fiddler's head in um, Island Manish, so it's. Uh,
like this, you recover your own sticks. <laughs>
people go and they just don't want one. Um, it's a gym. Now, it's to be danced with a hunting knife or dagger, which means you'll use a short stick. What I'm expecting you to do is to break up into groups of four, somewhere in the building, and go in the back of the side of your life for a while, and as a group of four, work out what you think this chip goes like. And then you'll come back and do it. No.
had a picture of you saying thank you.
It doesn't necessarily mean you've all got the same dance. Right? So part of the exercise here is actually to see how wrong you were. <laughs> I have I couldn't find my video of them doing it. So at least you're all saved from feeling that you've got it wrong. Right? You're all the same boat. Now Sue will play the tune if you want the tune to dance to. All you have to do is establish which speed you want to start with. And you get your repeats as they come out. Right.
another set. Get one each. You need, you need some of them as word sheets for later on, especially. One of the sheets. Which way is the line going? Left or right or right? He's going his way. Both ways. I always start. always start. Yeah. Is it every horse that's right? I thought that part.
basically gave the dance to Thorn Bunkers, who have been doing it for all oh, ages, decades, it seems. Um, and I think it's a nice sort of dance for that sort of team. <laughs> <laughs>
was actually relying on my memory rather than reading the sheet. <laughs> It's always foolish, isn't it? Yes. When you get back from the cast, we all face down, turning inwards, and we do a foot down, go down, four bars down, and four bars back. Then we go into the progressive, how you turn inwards and face up into the progressive, how on the sides, how on the right. So back to the beginning.
form the arch. Come forward. Right. Meet in the middle. The middle pair, we're at the top, right? Turn right hand to your partner, left hand to your right diagonal. Turn your partner, then the other diagonal. And as you come out of this, you cross back to your original side, going outwards. And the top pair starts progressing three to three by going down the middle. Down the middle and bit down the middle. come up.
Thank you.